YouTube back again with a real quick video. I got autopilot to go through a roundabout finally, and we're going to break that down here. But first I want to look back on an older software version where I tried to go through a roundabout right here, 2019.12.1.2. I'm going to put a link to this video in the description down below, but as you can see, it looks like it's going to pass through until it gets to this curve right here. And the two blue lines are going to tell us that it's not going to be able to make it through and it's going to head right for that curb, so I had to take over. So it's been a couple software updates and I got the opportunity to go through another roundabout. So as you can see here, we got to follow a couple cars through the roundabout, which I think benefited the system. And we are in autopilot. We have the blue steering wheel and two blue lines, which tells you we're in autopilot. So as we start approaching the curve, you're gonna see the two blue lines and the cars on the screen. And I do think that the two cars and the clear visibility help ensure that the autopilot's gonna make it through this. And it's not until we get to about right here on the curve where autopilot's kind of unsure and it asks me to give a slight force. And that's kind of the same point, if you remember what I just showed you in the last video on that back side of the curve where it said, you know, apply a slight turning force and it couldn't make that sharp turn. But in this update, it is able to make that turn, which is incredible. Now you saw the blue lines go out and I had my hand on the wheel, but the car was driving the entire time. Okay, so I know that happened really fast. So let's slow that down and take another look at it. So as we approach the roundabout, again, I think it helped out during this test that there was two cars for the autopilot to follow. And you can see the blue lines start wrapping around the roundabout, following the other vehicle. And we still have the two blue lines and it's still accurate in where we need to go. But here's where it's apply light turning force and you can see the blue lines are flickering on and off. And at this point they are off, but we do they do come back after I put a little bit of pressure on the left hand side of the steering wheel down saying that I wanted to turn left and it was able to successfully pass through. So now let's look at that real time. It happens super fast. So just pay attention to the autopilot. The blue lines are gonna tell you exactly what the car is thinking. So a light, slight force was put on the steering wheel there, but again, the autopilot stayed engaged throughout the entire roundabout, which is very impressive. If you guys haven't done so yet, click that link down below and go over to Patreon and support me for as little as a dollar a month. And right now you get some top tier benefits. There's also lots of little things that you'll gain access to, like a behind the scenes, what I'm currently working on, so you can see what next videos are coming up along with a lot of other great content. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this content with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.